False Color is an After Effects and Premiere Pro plugin that changes the luminance values of your image to whatever color you choose. It comes with 15 different presets that can instantly give you desirable looks for your image, but you can also reset it and go back and change it by hand. Now let's just go ahead and go over all the settings available. The first is we can choose the number of colors specifically that we want to replace or have become a false color. This can range from anywhere from one to five colors. There's also a smooth option, which if we set to the minimum, everything is completely opaque and does not transition from one color to the next. But if you turn it up, it will begin to blend between all the various colors. This will give you two different options for every single look. Then there are five color controls. These are basically where you select a custom color and the range of luma from which this color will replace. You can easily adjust these to make the color spread out more to other ranges, uh, and this will create many different effects. Now do note for the edge blending to properly work, the end luma of one color must be the start luma of, a ne of the next in order to recognize it as a blending color. If they don't match up, it will simply blend with the original image. And the default preset actually has all these set up for you, so you can easily change this to begin with perfect blending on. So you can choose the start and end luma, which will basically choose the start and end brightness points for your custom color. And the last feature I wanna go over is the random section. Here we can randomize just the color by clicking on color and randomize. And this will take the current luma values and just randomize each of the colors as you click on it. This can allow you to generate tons of looks in just a few seconds. Now we can also enable luma which will randomize the luma values of where these colors will be affected. And as you can see, we can continually go along and get with the luma as well, all kinds of different looks. Now the edge blending is not always going to be perfect on these, but you can always go in and adjust it so that they match. And if you want to start over from scratch, simply hit reset and you can then go back to maybe randomizing just the color. So hopefully that explains how to use false color, all of the different properties you can adjust and how you can quickly generate tons of looks randomly.